Today I'm going to show you how to try and get your names, your renamed ports on your iConnectivity interface to show up on your Windows computer. Uh, this doesn't work 100% of the time, but it had quite a bit of success with it. So I'm going to do the renaming in our Oracle software, Oracle X. Yep. I show a lot of connected devices here. I have a lot of gear connected. So basically what we want to do to rename is we want to go, you can check out a renaming video, but we can go into your MIDI routing here. Click on the port that you want to rename. Now you're going to want, if you're looking at it for your computer's sake to rename a port, you'll want to name it under the device port to computer slash DAW. So what we're going to do is hit this little pencil. So select the port and a little pencil pops up and then we're going to rename it. So say this was a control Then we could just save that in there. And so that would be the new name. Now we want this to show up in our DAW and all our different softwares on our computer. Um, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to save that. I'm going to go back and remember if I saved it. Yeah, the first one. So we put it on uh, PA12A. And we're going to go to presets, save, now that's saved. And how we're going to get that to show up, we go into device manager. So if you don't know where device manager is, you can go to a little search down here, have in device manager and you'll find your device manager. I have two open, but uh, then we're gonna go under sound, video, and game controllers. Click the little arrow. And then we wanna go to the interface that we're trying to rename. We're gonna right click it. We're going to uninstall the device. And it's gonna come up with this little option here. Um, it says you're about to uninstall this device from your system, that's cool. We don't want to delete the driver software. You don't need to do that. So we're just going to hit on install without checking. Now what you would do is unplug the USB cable from the Play Audio 12 and plug it back in. Now once that comes back in, it should show up like normal back here. Go to properties, driver should still be connected and now your naming should be updated. If it doesn't rename, I found some computers after you unplug the device, you'll have to do a restart of your computer and then plug the interface back in so it can rescan it as a new device. Basically what we're doing is we're forcing the computer uh, to forget the device and then reinstall it and rescan the device with its current names, which is names that we've already changed because we've saved that now, the new naming into the interface itself. So hopefully that helps you out.